Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, I'm going to be reviewing and testing this little puppy right here. It's one of the strangers inventions in tennis rackets. It's actually made by McGregor. They unfortunately no longer make tennis rackets anymore, but they were definitely a player back in, I want to say the early to mid nineties uh, with tennis rackets. So this one's called the Bergoline Long String 2. Okay, as you can see, it's a little strange. Let's take a look at the features and benefits of this McGregor racket. All right, so as you can see, it looks like, I don't wanna say fencing, but it looks like fencing. Um, as you a regular racket, a regular racket, the strings kind of go this way and this way, right? This is going like this. The whole point of it is that these strings are not supposed to break because there's not going to be any movement because of how it is crossed together at an angle. So let's move it this way. Imagine going like this, brushing up on a ball, which usually causes strings to move and then eventually break. Well, this isn't going to move. Therefore, it isn't going to break. Right? You can actually put this on a barbecue throw some steak on here and you get the nice searing lines. I'm just kidding. Anyways, but yeah, that's the whole point though of this racket. Plus, obviously you can see the odd shaped is kind of like a diamond almost, right? What is the method to that madness? Well, the straight lines here, as you can see, stability, little flex, it's flat. For flex, right? Rackets back back in this day were similar to this. For more flex, yet yet power, right? And this one won't break. The strings will not break, or supposed to not break. Now, as you can see, it's all numbered too. It's all numbered. Right. It, it, it's, it's a guideline. It's a map. It's a road map to how to string this racket. So you got to start with what I see is number two over here. Then you go to number three up there. Then you go back down to number four, which is, I don't know where it is. I know five is down here. Okay. Seven is down up here. So it's actually a whole process to string this racket. And it doesn't look very fun to string. Um, if you look on the sides, all the strings kind of go down to the bottom, go down into the handle. When you have long strings like this coming down to one spot here, that all actually equals to power. The longer these strings are, the more elasticity they're going to probably have. You see that nut down there? You're supposed to put a wrench in there and twist it when you need it to be tighter. So you're actually going to turn it. You can actually see it says it. Long string tension. And you twist it one way or you twist it the other to tighten or loosen. So what about that for a tennis racket these days? What if you can loosen or tighten your racket that you own right now just by cranking a wrench? That's a great idea, isn't it? Why can't we do that today? But we're talking about what, 30, probably 30 years ago for this thing. Maybe more, maybe more than 30 years ago, probably 30, 35 years ago, looking at mid eighties, late eighties for this thing. Um, it feels pretty heavy in the hand. All right. So let's take a look at how much this thing weighs. My guess 
is it's like 13 ounces, if not more. 13, whoa, 13 one. For all you people who don't go by ounces, that's 372. That's pretty good, pretty good weight there, guys. Pretty good weight there. That's heavier than a modern day fed by half an ounce. All right, let's see what the balance is now. Three twenty-five. Three twenty-five. Not too bad. All right. So at the scale, it should be a high number. Three fifty-eight. It's a high number. All right. Let's check out these big numbers. So strong weight, 13.1 ounces, which is 372 grams. Balance, not horrendous, but definitely a high number. Swing weight is way up there. So this is kind of like a modern day pros racket. It's like pro stock. It's almost like not quite like the Andy Murray, but definitely more like the Andre Agassi racket. So that head, the 107 that's customized that we have back there, uh, is similar to these numbers. So we're going to swing it. Hopefully um, we can, because there's going to be a lot of mass coming through. And let's see how it is. All right. I'll see you on the court. All right, got my man, Coach Chris. Got the McGregor Bergeline Long String 2. Let's see how we like it. So Coach Chris is here with me now after we tried out this McGregor racket. I just explained to him what it was all about as I explained to you. So what do you think of the concept and how did it play for you? Um, so let's talk about playability first. I thought that it was a little bit on the heavier side to come through, um, head heavier. But it actually, actually, after hitting with it for a few times, I probably lower the tension a little bit more, and it actually feels good. Uh, I'm surprised by how it's um, not like it. Pretty much does what a modern racket does too, as well. I thought it was actually quite good. My only issue is that it's just a little bit too heavier in the head. And in terms of the concept of it. In terms of the concept of it, uh, I thought it was an interesting idea is that you can only string it, you only need to string it once and all you have to do to tighten the tension is, is to turn it. So that's a really cool uh, little thing that they did in the 80s and you can see like the stringing is going through the sides of the racket all the way to the, yeah, all the way to the edge, both sides too as well. Um, would I play with this now? Modern tennis? Probably not. I would say, again, just focusing on the weight of the racket a little bit more, it's way too head heavy for me. 
I would definitely lighten the load a little bit more and I think it would be a lot more playable. Um, but you do get power out of this for sure. And I would like to see if it is any different with a poly string too. Yeah. So for Coach Chris, we could actually just easily loosen up the string for you, Coach. Just mm -hmm. get the wrench in here, make it a couple turns over here, loosen up the string bed, get you back going. Right. Yeah, I what? think it's like I said, <laughs> the biggest thing that I was talking about earlier is just the weight distribution. I think oh, it's yeah. way too heavy in the head. Yeah. Way too heavy. But then I want to see if like putting in poly strings would work too as well. Yeah, well, I'm not going to be doing that because he doesn't too, know how. I'm not going to. I don't want. I don't want the guide map that'll take me five hours to string this racket. Um, yeah. It, it's. What do you call this string pattern? So I call it a fence or a grill pattern because, you know, like how those barbecue pit master guys use a little um, fence deal. So it's like fencing, right? Because it, it, you the strings will not move. Right, it's meant not to move, mm. so it's meant not to break strings. Mm. But I, I mean, when I was coming through, I liked the weight. I enjoyed the weight. I mean, it, it when it came through, it felt like the whole thing just plowed through, like the ball, like like it was nothing. Yeah, very stable. When you hit the center of it, it acts. The the frame did not flex. I did not feel the frame flex. I didn't either, but I don't, if you want to hit spin with it, I didn't really feel like I could get, like I could get the spin, but I didn't feel like the normal bite that you have when the, when the strings flex a little bit more. I can definitely feel like hitting through the ball a little bit more, but not too much when I wanted to hit a little bit more top spin. That's true, because the strings are not snapping. Mm -hmm. um, so basically your old low to high would only impart so much spin on it mm -hmm. but because of the the weight it would be pretty difficult to impart it anyways unless you're super strong yeah so but i i mean i liked it for that flat hitter from back in this day i think people couldn't get over the shape of it though that's the thing the shape of it yeah yeah because it's not like a traditional racket but that's probably why it didn't do well. They are, there are rackets like this out there. Um, I've seen them on some of the online sites, so you can get one of these for as low as 40 or 50 bucks. And if you're from back in the 80s and you want that 80s kind of feel, that's, that'll definitely give you that 80s feel. So, but I, I, I enjoyed it. I might play with this racket. All right. Okay. Coach Chris won't, but I will. Yeah. I want to thank my man, Coach Chris, for uh, hanging out with me today and trying out the McGregor. Where can we find you, Chris? You can find me at CB Chan Tennis. And that's it. And that's it. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.